okay thanks hari and uh, uh, hello everyone uh, it's nice to uh, see you everyone uh, in hashi talks india and uh, it's my pleasure to present one of the topic uh, for hashi talks uh, so i th- i would like to thank all the presenters uh, throughout the day and uh, participants who are attending the talk uh, so far so your questions and uh, like you no know, insights helping the session more interactive and uh, the things actually uh so yeah so let's get into my talk actually so uh so my, i'm going uh, actually i'm saranan and uh, uh, hari has given a short introduction about myself basically and today i'm going to talk about uh, setting up a github action workflow uh, for terraform to deploy aws infrastructure and in the previous session uh, you guys have seen how to uh, set up a uh, workflow uh, uh, sorry how to uh, create a aws infrastructure using uh, terraform basically uh so in this session uh, we will be uh, walking you through the uh, how to setting up a github action workflow for deploying a uh, aws infrastructure using terraform actually uh so myself ronan and uh, as hari mentioned i am working as a principal engineer in flatlog technologies uh, i am a cloud native consultant and uh, devops evangelist i am also a aws community builder i am passionate about uh, designing and automating the infrastructure solutions using uh, infrastructure as a code technologies like uh, terraform chef or whatever it is right and uh, as part of my community contribution i am uh, contributing via uh, by writing technical blogs and i uh, answer for stack overflow uh, questions and uh, i am also a oss contributor in github as well so some of my uh, social footprints are mentioned uh, in the below basically yeah uh, so that's about me and uh, today's agenda is like uh, uh, so preeti pretty much covered uh, uh, mostly about the aws uh, and uh, what is terraform and what are the like, uh, terraform commands and all and uh, i'll i'll be like uh, uh, presenting you through the how what is the context for setting up a uh, github action workflow uh, using uh, for terraform and uh, i we will also cover a few of the use cases that would be uh, useful for the particular scenario i'm going to present today and then we will be uh, having a quick code wo- workflow walk through of like you know, what is the uh, workflow we are going to build today and i'll just provide a demo of it actually and then we'll move on to the q and a section uh so basically uh, yeah so for context setting for uh, terraform and uh, github action workflow use cases like uh, uh you may you guys might be uh, uh, having a developer team uh, they would be uh, developing their code and they wanted to u- uh, test their code in uh, real time right in that time uh, they if they wanted to create a environment for uh, testing their code specifically Uh, they might need to reach out to the uh, particular special specific uh, dev- devops team or anyone to set up a pipeline for the, for testing their testing and deploying their code uh, but th- when we uh, but if we set up a workflow uh, whatever i am going to present today uh, so the developer team can use that workflow as a ready made thing and to de- uh, to deploy and test their code basically so this uh, workflow will spin up a, a terraform environment in aws and it will also like you know do the uh, basic uh, like you no know, uh, checking of validation and stuff actually about the terraform code and then if the developer team wanted to have uh, some deployment step that can also be added as part of the workflow basically and another use case is like uh, infrastructure automation development team wants to validate and deploy their uh, automation code stored in a specific folder in the repository so basically like once after we uh, created a code in a, a code for a particular uh, for such a automation scenario uh, if if anyone wants to spin up the uh, code from the specific directory uh, we will be uh, able to do that using this workflow so for that actually github action uh, come up with uh, one uh, uh, good option for like workflow dispatch actually so in our workflow we will be using the workflow dispatch option uh, to uh, like know how to uh, deploy that actually uh, for, for the terraform uh, workflow basically so that's about the use case context and uh, then uh, we will now move on to the uh, workflow code walk through uh, let me open that <laughs> so this is the uh, basic terraform workflow i have set up for my aws code basically if you can see uh this is a github action workflow uh, if we are if you want to talk a bit about github action it's also a ci uh, cd pla- like no uh, workflow uh, platform basically in which uh, it is getting popularity uh, recently for past few years and uh, it is also integrated it can be easily integrated with github 
so that uh, we can also uh, create a pipeline by having uh, having the uh, branch hooks in which uh, our code is getting pushed basically uh, so this is the workflow uh, uh, so this is the workflow uh, so it 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 shows um, uh, uh, it, uh, basically it starts with the workflow dispatch uh, on which our uh, code is going to be uh, push uh, pulled actually so in my uh, demo sample i i have my code in the uh, aws sample slash create ec2 directory and uh, whenever there is a main code getting pushed uh, with the new code changes this workflow will be triggered uh, basically and uh, and uh, it will also having the basic checks like uh, uh, terraform validation and build uh, so uh, these are all the uh, uh, GitHub action related uh, for format in which uh, it will be having the Ubuntu runner on which our uh, workflow will be running. And uh, this will be the uh, code for checking out the repository code in which our code is residing. And then I have configured my AWS credential uh, using the uh, repository secrets basically, because we cannot have the uh, credentials hard coded uh, in, uh, in the workflow basically, because it can be accessible for, by anyone uh, in the organization. And then uh, uh, this is the kind of HashiCarp specific implementation for installing the Terraform actually. So HashiCarp has uh, many such uh, like you know, GitHub Action workflow uh, ready to be used in the GitHub Action basically. So I, I am using the setup uh, Terraform uh, GitHub Action uh, uh, like marketplace plugin for installing the Terraform. So once after, if we, if we have this line, uh, this uh, Terraform will be getting installed in the uh, Ubuntu runner that is already on which our workflow is running. And then we can uh, execute our uh, usual uh, commands like terraform init, uh, validate, and plan. So basically, uh, in the previous session, you guys might have seen init will be uh, downloading all the providers and the dependencies into the local uh, path. And then uh, validate will be checking for the validation of uh, a specific uh, terraform code. And uh, if, uh, and since this is a demo purpose, I have everything in the, in the same uh, like, no, uh, code basically. But if we wanted to have a, a like, no, feedback mechanism for if at all, if it is failing for an validation, we can uh, make it, we, we can uh, do it in the GitHub action. And then once after it is being done, uh, it, it will be running the Terraform plan. And uh, since this is a, again like demo workflow, I have it, uh, I, I have commented out the Terraform apply part uh, commented out. But uh, in our one of the use case, we have seen uh, if at all, if a developer wants or wanted to create a uh, Terraform environment for them, uh, in this workflow, we can uncomment this part of the code and then uh, we can uh, give it to the developer for executing the uh, like, no code basically. And then uh, for a demo purpose, I also depicted how to have a Terraform destroy also in this one. Uh, so, so this is the high level about uh, uh, that uh, workflow, whatever I had. And uh, as I mentioned, like no, there are guitar. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry to sorry to interrupt you there. It looks like maybe you're only sharing your PowerPoint um, okay. screen. So okay. most of what yeah, you were sorry. talking about the code. Yeah, if yeah, you... yeah, sorry. Yeah. No worries, no worries. I didn't want you to go any further without uh, sure, sure, sharing yeah. your code. Uh, so yeah. Thank I'm you. Just, yeah. I yeah, I shared only one tab basically. Uh, sorry for that, basically. No worries. Yeah, let's make yeah. sure we can see both and, yeah, and I'll get yeah. out of your way. Yeah, sorry for my previous thing. Basically, like uh, I have her run through entire code without sharing that. So basically, as I explained, uh, uh, this is the uh, Terraform uh, GitHub Action Workflow, uh, whatever I, ha I have created for this demo purpose. Basically, uh, this is what I was talking about on Workflow Dispatch is the option by GitHub Action in which we can provide parameters uh, in the GitHub uh, basically. Uh, and uh, and it will be like you no know, whenever there is a uh, code push happens in the main it will be running this uh, entire workflow and uh, i was talking about uh, like you no know, this is the ubuntu runner uh, in which uh, our uh, like no you know, github action workflow will be running and uh, this will be the code checkout part uh, the uh, code checkout part in which uh, uh, like you no know, our code whatever the terraform code we are going to run uh, that will be getting uh, deployed or whatever it is right the further operations will be Based on the code repository that is being checked out here, and uh, I have used the uh, GitHub uh, like no, AWS credential, uh, uh, and I, I and I have added them as a, a repository secrets here. So because we cannot use them uh, as it is right in the code, and uh, uh, and for this purpose of Terraform, I am installing the Terraform CLI basically, 
and uh, so basically like uh, as i mentioned earlier hashicorp has uh, uh, developed a, a community plugins as well as official plugins for supporting terraform related functionalities and terraform products like uh, hashicorp vault uh, or console or terraform so i am using the setup terraform uh, hashicorp plugin for installing the terraform on the workflow runner uh, whatever we are having here and then uh, as as mentioned in the previous session uh, we can just execute the terraform commands as it is in the uh, run block of the github action in which uh, first we will be running the init command and then we are validating the terraform code and if needed we can have the uh, feedback loop here if at all if, uh, if the code is failing and then we will be running the terraform plan and for the purpose of demo i have commented out the part of uh, our terraform apply uh, here and uh, as i mentioned uh, the previous uh, in the use case list right so if at all if you wanted to create a developer uh, environment uh, for a, like you know, if you wanted to give this plugin uh, sorry the, this workflow to be executed by a developer we can uncomment this part of the code uh, in the uh, github action and uh, uh, whoever wanted to uh, uh, create an environment they can use it and then uh, uh, we are having the terraform destroy uh, that is also depicting the uh, like you no know, demo of like you know, how to destroy that actually so this is the workflow uh, i have created for this uh, demo and uh, i would I, I would also like to show uh, uh, some of the like you no know, hashicorp's uh, marketplace uh, like you no know, where it shows all the uh, plugin for uh, terraform uh, sorry hashicorp related product so you can see if you if you go to uh, github marketplace and if you search for hashicorp so it has uh, many thing developed by published by hashicorp and we will be also having a, a community plugin like uh, this one right so there is some developer like bloomin labs published the uh, plugin for terraform and uh, so so like this is what it is right so whenever if you wanted to create any uh, hashicorp related product uh, or integrated in the uh, github action you can just do it by knowing uh, by searching for it in the uh, marketplace and you can integrate into the uh, github action basically and uh, as i mentioned i have in incorporated this uh, uh, setup terraform uh, code uh, like a hashicorp plugin in my code so if you go through this uh, marketplace uh, listing right so you can just see how to use this uh, uh, a plugin into the terraform code uh, sorry uh, terraform not terraform code basically how to use this code in the github action uh, and we can just use it as it is so in my code i have taken this uh, and i have used it uh, so similarly if you uh, the, if you explore this option there are multiple ways to you integrate uh, terraform cloud terraform enterprise and those things uh, of uh, like uh, whatever uh, terraform product is there that can be integrated with uh, terraform uh, 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 github action uh, so that's about it and uh, uh, for the demo i have uh, explain i was telling about uh, like no i will just uh, uh, run you through the uh, uh, the code whatever i created basically uh, let me show you that So this is the uh, instance uh, create easy to instance code I have created for this demo. Uh, so basically, uh, it has everything like uh, I have uh, like, you know, provided variables uh, for regions and uh, instance count. Uh, I am setting it as uh, true. If at all, if we wanted to have more than one instance with a similar configuration, we can do that. And uh, I am using Terraform Provider version three uh, for this demo purpose. And I have this uh, profile and everything is being configured here. Uh, so this is the kind of code I have created for this uh, demo, and uh, uh, and let's see like you know, how to run this uh, code uh, using my workflow. So as I mentioned uh, previously, uh, in my uh, workflow workflow dispatch, we will be providing the path of this directory so that it will pick up the code from this specific path and it will be running the uh, Terraform uh, code. Uh, so we will see that how to run it. So for that, we will have to go to uh, GitHub Actions tab, and uh, this is the workflow that I have created for AWS, uh, like you no know, validation part. And if we go here, uh, in you can see a Run Workflow button here. If you click on it, 
it will be showing the uh, tf file path uh, in which we can uh, change by default now i I'm, i'm having it in the ec2 path from which i wanted to run the code but if anyone wants to uh, like no invoke uh, uh, infrastructure creation from another path they can uh, do it basically from uh, by uh, by editing this path actually so let's click on the run workflow so it will start the workflow running now so now you can see the workflow has been uh, started <coughs> so if you click on that further it will just do whatever we have defined in our uh, terraform workflow uh, basically here right and one other information is like uh, this workflow will be residing under under the dot github and workflow directories so this is the code uh, that i have walked walked to, through before so yeah and the workflow is running here you can see so now the workflow has been completed so now we can see uh, whatever we have written in the code has been uh, successfully executed uh, so now you can see that uh, 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 so that setup terraform cli has been uh, done and then it it has run the init plan and apply command here and then uh, the terraform destroy uh, demo has been uh, done basically and then uh, it has run uh, the post configuration cleanup and everything actually so that is the uh, demo part of the this session so yeah that's it uh, basically for uh, today uh, whatever i had to present so if at all if you have any questions uh, you can just post it <clears throat>